Oh, there's Poppy, last pick for Liquid. So things kind of shaking out pretty standard here. Tanks in the top lane. We both can get there as well, but Cody's done in trouble. Exhaust is down. Youngbin looking for his first kill, the LCS. He was going to be used. Ole was out warding, forcing the flash as well. This was actually Ole trying to make the collapse on the red buff, right? So he leaves to try to help out his jungler at the red buff. That gets his AD carry heavily punished, and he's low on health too. Good chain though. Piglet though turning it around instantly. But it is a summonerless Ash who's quite vulnerable. Let's see if he can make a play here, but neither AD carry wants to back off. Rain over, over the top with the blast cone though. Gonna look Elise to set it up. Coming. Good silence there. Damage is through. Exhaust is great, but there's a good stun. First one though over. As that's a trade kill for Dardak. Rain of it goes down, and Dardak's chasing Youngbin as he's gonna go down as well. Now Matt forced to run through the slow field. Wants to try and make the flash and does get over the wall. Red buff tags him. Dardak flashes. Gonna look to keep chasing it down. Great cocoon from Dardak, and that's gonna be yet another kill. Three and zero for Dardak. What a start. He has 58 CS, 11 and a half minutes into the game. This is not LCS level. No, it's not. Good flash from Matt with the ultimate out there, but Pope is going to answer one to Youngbin. Ult's going to go wide there from the arrow, but Matt's going to go down to Cody's son anyway. Dardoch nails him with a cocoon. I think Piglet might be looking for a back, so again, just buying more time. Flame in the bottom lane, 1v1ing the enemy jumper. Oh, here comes Piglet. Piglet in with the realm warp. There's one. I'm going to try and lock him now, but Renover still low on Pope. I can pop over here as well. They're just going to lock down the rise. Good flash from Piglet's going to get him out. And now Renover trying to turn it back around. He flashes out, and here's Lola, but Flame flashes out of the here. auto. Lola looks for something. He's now going to try and stun down him. Lola, but there's another bit of damage from Pobelta. Dardak kiting it out. Good ulti there from Lola. Gonna knock one down and give Piglet the double kill. Dardak running back towards his support and he'll be saved. But still, you would think that there would be a pretty significant advantage to Pobelta. Oh, very nice cocoon. Right over tries to get in there. Realm Wolf's gonna follow through. Dardak, I think, dead. There's the shutdown. Doesn't even need Piglet, but now Pobelta is gonna get the counter kill. Lola slams him into a wall though, and Piglet gonna get the easy lockdown. They're gonna be creating that pressure on the bot side because Flame is pushing in there. Someone must respond. And Pobelta and Dardak. Yeah, right over gonna get chased down. Pobelta leads himself forward. Ignite's down. Should be enough for the kill. And now Piglet gonna get himself stunned up. Perhaps Pobelta looks for the chain. Realm Wolf there. He's gonna try and turn on to Dardak. Gets himself out under the turret though. Yeah, it's the one right there that's not in the river. That thing's about to get cleared out. Realm Wolf top side though, looking for Pobelta. Good off from Lolo, flashing from Piglet, but it's a little early. Pobelta able to distort out of the way. Rain over gonna chase him, distorts his way back, but there's Piglet now on a killing spree as he takes down LeBlanc. That's the response the mortals want here. Young oh Bin. No, young bin. That's a threat. They're gonna go in 1v2. Oh. Easy follow up. Doesn't even need the protocol as the arrow sails by. For Cody's son. He's got 1600 gold now to spend because he's actually caught out here. But Lolo is going to get caught by the rest of IMT. Lolo here finally in reserve as Lolo going to get himself Piglet slowed down. down. Matt also in the front lines, but he does get the exhaust down. Slow down for the volley as Ole. Let's see. Ulti ripped oh. not enough on the Matt. He's going to be forced to flash out though. Face if check they uh, can happen. Yeah, face check a little too aggressively. This can happen. Pick off attempt on to Matt. Does get the chain down. Massive damage. Arrow's going to follow, and that's an easy kill for Cody's son. There are options for TL. They can look for a fight, or they can threaten to rush Baron. I think that's what they're going to try to do. Rumble Rise fit. into that Baron pit. They're going to try to rush this as a trade. We'll see if Immortals can respond. They Immortals need to go are already down. over. In fact, Ola's going to get there it's pretty quickly. Getting low quickly. fast, though. Arrow hits under Lolo. Just going to try and get the ulti down. Dragon low. Can someone get it? No, if you ain't never does it, it's a smite down. But Piglet may be caught by flame. Has Rest of the make over. But Pobelta's looking for the chase. Piglet does flash over the wall. That's going to reveal a few as Pobelta wants to chain down Piglet. Does land it in and up. Piglet forced to fight. Cleanses out of the snare. And Team Liquid get away with that. Team Liquid still not done. On the offensive now, looking for the mid outer. Oh, oh yo, young lands on the young bin. Pobelta can't find the chain though. Cocoon lands on the piglet, and that could be enough. Ole has enough damage, gets two actually, including a shotgun on the piglet. Young bin goes down to Cody Sans auto. Ran into a flash, leaps over the wall, but it's oh, into the arms of Flame. And there's another snare and a double kill for Cody. That is the risk. They get too overconfident. Yes, you can see. Yes, you can get some advantages with the Baron, but they went too far up into the full squad of Immortals, and they're still down massively in gold. They pay the price, and the base is gonna get cracked open. The price is mid inhibitor turret and likely the inhibitor as well. Could be Lolo for some collateral, but he's got a Guardian Angel and he's a big tanky poppy, so he'll be safe, but the rest of the base is just falling apart. This guy is going full tank. It's not even an Iceborne. It's a Frozen Heart. Full on defensive. He knows his team has enough damage to close it out. So both are actually going in for Lolo here. It does have a Leandrews and Avoid stuff, so Lolo's not that tanky. Does get a good slam in though. Might just get the 1v1 damage from the ultimate. It's good, but there's an arrow from Cody Sun to save the play. Lolo flashes forward and will get the kill, but now Dardoch finds Reign of Ole. Let's loose again as Lolo's GA gets popped, but Reign of still chasing down Flame in the front line, trying to block up the rest of Team Liquid. Gets himself ultimate, but he's so tanky. The damage isn't there oh, now. He's flashing flashes in. forward as Lolo tries to go back into the back line. 
in the open. Over the side, trying to make a play, but he's gonna get himself killed by Cody Sun and Flame. Still not going down. But that Elder Dragon's actually dead. Yeah, it's it's long gone, and all the dragon stacking is gonna pay off for Immortals. That's getting picked off. Nautilus Ultimate doesn't even see himself for a kill confirm. But uh, I don't think TL really, uh, INC really care that much because yeah. they're gonna try and end the game. You can just you can just force a fight now. I mean, TL is so far behind in gold. If they try to defend it at all, you just start fighting. They're trying to defend it all. Realm Warp in. Rainover looking for a flank. Not a bad position actually. It's flame still taking damage. Gonna try and get the hook down, finds Matt as the ultimate after oh, all. He's gonna get another kill. And Flame's still there. DA's gonna finally pop up. Rainov has got himself caught straight in the front side. DA's gonna revive Flame. Pavelta dies back in for Lolo. And there's another kill. Rainov as GA gets himself killed as he revives. That's the second in hip turret as IMT move in for the kill. Rainover at least takes down Poe Belcher, but it's still four members pushing down here. That turret is going down so, so fast. Nardok looks for the play. Young Pin shifts his way up and didn't actually need to. Predictive attempt perhaps there from the Elise's TL. Hold on to their base for now. Only losing one Nexus turret. Pretty good uh, for TL. They're still in the game at least, but Lorlo now moving forward. Put up by another good hook from Flame. Oh, no. and damage should be there. Cody Sun dominating with six kills. And this inhibitor is just going to get retaken. What an awkward time to respawn. Immortal's in perfect position to take that one. Yeah, Lolo just kind of wandered up there. They had walked out of the base, but I guess he thought they had fully recalled. They had not, and now Immortals can run straight over to the Baron. And then look to end out the game. In fact, they might not even need the last in here. It's only one Nexus turret. They can just walk it down mid. Just going to run it in right now. Lolo does get himself out with a good flash dash. But Flame finds Matt with the ultimate. Might be enough to kill him. Not quite, but Pobelsa finishing the job off. Hook on a piglet barely lands, but Flame doesn't quite make it through the Nexus. Young Bin trying to flank around the other side, but this next turret's going down. Dada learns to Kakuna, deletes him 1v4. Oh boy, it's rough. Piglet gonna get hooked up as well. Dada taking turrets, and the Nexus now exposed. Immortals with a huge advantage. Snowball the game completely in their favor, and they'll take down Team Liquid here in the first one. Looks rough for TL. Piglet at least had a pretty solid debut in mid lane.